of uh, this youth gathering. That we are aware it's the question of our faith, of the vitality of our faith, and as my colleague just has said, that we have to fulfill a mission. So I welcome you all for this festival of faith. Yesterday in Rome, the Holy Father had the usual speech for the, uh, to the general audience on Wednesday, and he quoted one of the first sentences of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which sounds like this. The desire for God is written in the human heart because man is created by God and for God, and God never ceases to draw man to himself. Only in God will he find the truth and happiness he never stops searching for. And then he made a reflection about that, quoting among others St. Augustine. And I found a passage, I think it is worth it to be read this morning, when the Holy Father quoted, he reminded the faithful at the general audience, and there now I'm quoting, that God is more intimate to me than I am to myself. From this, St. Augustine formulates the invitation to not go abroad, but return within yourself. Truth dwells in the inner man. And then the Pope continues, and I think that's important for what we are celebrating now equally. This is another aspect we risk losing in the noisy and distracted world we live in. The ability to stop and look deep within ourselves and perceive this thirst for the infinite that we carry within us, that pushes us to go further and refers us to someone who may satisfy it. And you know that I have told it several times to you, it's not simply the noise that makes us happy. We have equally to develop this capacity to look into ourselves, to listen to one another. And that requires also a kind of silence of our heart, and sometimes even the silence uh, in our environment. All things are possible for the one who believes. As I said, it requires opening and listening. And it requires a deepening of our personal friendship with Jesus Christ. Just from before we said, I will dance for Jesus and maybe even with Jesus. That requires a personal friendship we have to deepen also during these days. And that we live in solidarity with and for others. You have a mission to fulfill. You are happy now these days, but uh, there may be other days that we strengthen each other in our commitment of the faith. And that we celebrate and enjoy as our Lady Mary did it, that we sing the Magnificat from our whole heart, happy that we are belonging to Him whom she has formed. In the same verse of Mark 9.24, where you have the motto for this uh, gathering, we have the other important sentence I have taken as the motto of my pastor and later first. Everything is possible to the one who lives. And then our answer with the Father in the Gospel, Lord, I really help my unbelief. And that's my wish, that during these days, you may strengthen this hope that you have the courage to say, yes, Lord, I believe. But help my unbelief that the curve of my life will be more vital then. So, may the Lord bless you and keep you and strengthen all those who animate you during these days. And I expect in that result that your faith-beating heart will be again noble and full of enthusiasm. God bless you.